making some orange water, guys. I quit drinking Mountain Dew. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I released a video hey, on me showing you my grandson's new guitar, and it was that uh, Gibson Epiphone. Now, um, you heard that. Uh, now, of course, that had some pretty dull strings on it. When it's got brand new strings on that thing, it just sings. It is so nice. Uh, but I also wanted to show you my guitar, which was my wife's father's guitar, and he passed away and gave it to me. And he's, he's had this thing since the early 60s. And this is an Epiphone, and this one instead of being made in China, this one was made right here in the United States. It's got really nice inletting uh, on the fretboard, uh, mother of pearl. I love the uh, fretboard on this thing. The rest, of the, the rest of the guitar though, I've got to say it's pretty plain Jane. Uh, standard uh, white binding. Um, it, it is, uh, I'm gonna say, if I had to guess, mahogany or, yeah, mahogany. Um, it has a rosewood fretboard on it. I don't know. It might it might all be spruce. Uh, it's hard to say. This thing sounds nice. So I'm going to tune it up real quick because I just put some brand new strings on it. I'm going to tune it up real quick and switch the lens and we're going to let you guys uh, listen to this. As always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. You hit that notification icon to get a notification of my videos as soon as they're released. That way you don't miss any of them. Alright, we are in tune, and I don't think you can see the guitar. I'm going to try to hold it up. I really wanted to do this video to show you the difference between <laughs> a, a, a well-aged guitar and all the woods wood has had time to age and a more modern guitar. The Epiphone I played yesterday on yesterday's upload was very crisp. Uh, a lot of high tones, not a lot of bass, um, but you know, kind of twangy in a way. Still sounds really good. Um, I don't think this Rode microphone picks it up very well. I'd love to have a nice microphone for the guitar. But from then and now, really picks the bass up. And that's the difference in the guitars. Man, I love this guitar. Now it does have its issues. The uh, the fret or the the bridge is starting to come up a little bit on the edges here, um, and it's got a very slight warp on the top. I'm working on that right now by hanging uh, moisture pods inside of here, and I'm, I've got a video I'm going to upload uh, showing you guys how to make them yourself. Uh, so be looking for that video, but I hang about four of them in here put a, a, a sound hole cover on this and just let it sit uh, in the case and it will absorb the moisture from those little um, Moisture things that I put in so uh, Let's let's go ahead and play this a little bit guys again. Remember this is life post stroke channel. I had a stroke my left hand is very very um, Spongy I guess is a really good way, good way of saying it and I don't have a lot of strength in it. Um, again, I highly recommend it if you've had a head injury at all, you know, especially like a stroke. Uh, playing a musical instrument will help heal you, all right? Um, and a guitar is a hell of a thing to, to learn to play. It's not that hard to learn. 
a lot of videos on YouTube, <laughs> just like this one. Um, but I'm not teaching. I'm just going to mess around on this uh, since I got brand new strings on it. Um, I just love to hear it. Yeah, this thing's so old. Uh, my my wife's father used to play nothing but cowboy chords, G, C, and D, A, you know, stuff like that. Up in the frets up here, um, uh, all of it in the frets up here, and you can tell by the way the neck is wore, just by what kind of music he played. And even the fretboard has indentations on it, and it actually I should replace the fretboard because of the you know the the divots in here. Um, but I'm not going to. It, it sounds great to me. I am not a performer. I'm not out there making money playing a guitar. I do it because I love it. I'm not very good at it, but hell, you know. Uh, you do it to enjoy it, not, you know, because you're any good at it. Um, again, uh, this is an Epiphone 1960s vintage uh, made right here in the good old USA um, and uh, out of good solid woods. And I love it. Mother, should I run for president? I'm not going to sing the song. Mother, do you think they'll try and break my balls? I used to be able to hit that high note. Mother, should I build a wall? Well, that's enough of that song or I'll get copyright infringed. Well, I'm not making money on these videos anyway. So anyways, guys, I, I, I just had to show you this one. Um, this is another guitar in my collection. I have some more. They're not in here, though. Um, oh, uh, quickly, before I close this out. And I'm not going to make it too long. Um, my grandson also purchased a PV, uh, which we are upgrading. <laughs> Yeah, it's got the it's got the makings for an awesome guitar. Um, we're gonna change out the uh, tuning pegs, um, the fretboard. I'm not touching a thing. And oh, is this thing nice and light? I love it. Uh, we're probably gonna change up the pickups. Uh, get rid of these. Throw some. Uh, throw another set like a double some double humbuckers in it. Maybe I don't know. We're gonna look at it. See what we can do with it. But even the way it sits right now, man, is this thing nice. Um, paired up with the Fender, uh, with our Fender amp that we have, and it is a Fender Mustang 7, which has all the gadgets in it, man. I mean, nice. It's not one of them little battery-powered amplifiers. It's a nice amp. Uh, for those of you that follow me on uh, on my other channel, Hayes Tech and Rom Reviews, I've, you know, you guys probably never thought, ever, ever, that I was, uh, in, you know, kind of musical. Or into that, but but yes, I am. 
So, um, guys, thank you for watching. If you ever find an old guitar sitting in a pawn shop somewhere with a lot of dust on it, give it a good look down the neck. If the neck is straight, there are no major, you know, cracks or breaks in the guitar, and the bridge is still in good condition, buy it. Dust it off, polish it, whatever, throw a brand new set of strings on it, maybe take it to your music shop, have them uh, set up the action on it for you if you don't know how, uh, by adjusting the, you know, the bridge or the uh, saddle, and get into playing guitars. And if you can't play a guitar, um, you know, because of your finger strength or whatever, again, I recommend a classical guitar with nylon strings or a baritone ukulele or a regular ukulele. Of course, their chords are a little different on that, but still very easy to learn. All I'm saying, guys, is pick up an instrument and learn. Um, <laughs> I guess I could call this video two, uh, but anyways, again, I just want I wanted to make this video to show you the difference between new and old or uh, new and vintage guitars and the sound differences between them. Um, so I'm that's video. All I have. No, that's all I have. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Oh, and John, as soon as I get the strings on that uh, Gibson Classical, I'm going to make a video on it uh, just so you can hear what it sounds like. See you guys later.